painted in. So if I want a little blue right here in different areas, maybe right here where the hair is, and maybe some right here. Welcome back to my channel. First, I would like to remind you guys that you can get custom brushes and photo references from cubebrush.co and gumroad.com. Go and check those out, and there's uh, links in the description below too. And also check me out on Rumble. Just to remind you, join me on there. And so let's start this video. This is about filters. So we're going to use the adjustments to improve upon this illustration. This painting was from a couple of months back. So what I'm going to do is try to improve upon this painting instead of, you know, like going in and repainting. We're going to see what we can do with the filters. So we have the painting on one layer and I'm going to lock it. We're going to go to adjustments at the bottom and we're going to go and choose. We're going to try the photo filter and we're going to make this red, the color that we're going to use. And we're going to push up the density all the way up. What I'm going to do is hit control I because I don't want the whole thing to look red so I'm gonna do control I while the mask is selected over here alright it's all black on the mask which means we're gonna use a we're gonna use a soft brush and we're gonna use the color white and we're gonna bring some of that filter back and I'm only going to bring it in to where, to the areas that I want it to be. So I'm going to do this and I have the opacity down so I don't overdo it. The opacity is uh, around 50% or you can go to 60%. Once I get those areas that I want, It's already looking better right now. Now we're going to use the next filter and that's going to be the curves. With the curves, we're trying to create or increase uh, contrast. So we're going to use one of the presets and we're going to do increase contrast. Can you see that? Now, what I can do if I don't want that much on the painting, I can do Control I while this is selected, the mask, and then I can bring it all back gradually. You always want the main character of the painting to be the most detailed and the most and has the most contrast you want it to be sharp and everything else around it peripheral objects and and background they can be less detailed and defined oh there we go Now the next filter will be the channel, channel mixer. Turn the blue all the way up. And I'm gonna do control I. And now I'm gonna paint that in. Blue right here in different areas. Maybe right here where the hair is. 
and maybe some right here and a little bit around here around the face now these I'm gonna change I'm gonna use that same filter to change these colors I'm gonna turn my opacity up and do a couple of these circles all right we have made just small improvements that make the painting, you know, a little more interesting. So this is a, this looks pretty cool now. So hope you like this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, if you really like this video, uh, give it a like and a subscribe and ring the notification bell. Also join me on Rumble, Rumble, and you know, if there's anything you want me to cover, just let me know. And uh, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace.